Okay, so Angshuman, first of all, let me thank you for your time and welcome on Europedia. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. And Angshuman, let me also congratulate you. Uh, you got a very good uh, placement from your campus, that is IIT Guwahati, and uh, you got it in Mercedes Benz, that is uh, the dream company for many mechanical engineers. Mechanical engineers, <laughs> right? So Angshuman, yes, uh, I want to know a couple of things from you. First, I want to know your journey, academic journey. Uh, please tell us about your B.Tech college, from which part of India you are. And uh, when did you, uh, you know, write gate exam? And then how was the journey till IIT Guwahati? So good morning, every, everyone. Actually, uh, my name is Angshuman. And my journey is like I did my B.Tech from Johart Engineering College, which is in Assam. After I passed out in 2019. And after that, I wrote gate. 2020 also but it was not up to the mark so i uh, again gave uh, gave gate 2021 and there i scored like very high score 7 to 750 and i got admitted to uh, iit guwahati in fluid and thermal engineering department so there i pursued uh, like uh, my cgpa was very good and the coursework i selected like to achieve a very good job like that like the CFD and those courses I opted so that I can be like, uh, can opt for most of the companies in core. My aim was in core. So after that, I uh, was, I wrote many written exams for all the companies like core and some non-core companies also. Mm -hmm. But I, I was selected in most of the core companies, but uh, obviously everyone's aim is like to having like uh, most very good companies like Siemens and Mercedes the dream of this. So it was lucky that I got into Mercedes. The interview was tough, but okay. I cracked it. So I'll, I'll come to that part, uh, Anshuman, intro ke bare mein. But tell me something about IIT Guwahati as a campus. Kaisa campus laga tumhe? It's a very nice campus. Okay, you will never get one of the bored. most beautiful institute. Yeah, you will never get bored. Like there are many places to explore. Mm. And like that, there are like four to five lakes. Okay. In the camp, inside the in campus. The, in the campus itself. Yeah, inside the campus, three big lakes mm. and two small lakes. Okay. Mm. And there are mountain views. You can like uh, watch the mountains and greenery from your hostels. Mm. Okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. And the okay. structure of the buildings are also like very uh, like old fashionable London type structures. Like, mm -hmm. so okay. you will find it very good mm. to stay there and focus on your studies. Wonderful. And Anshuman, now tell me something about the courses. I mean, uh, jo aapka, uh, master's ka course tha, tell us something about that also. Actually, there are many courses, like some courses will be uh, compulsory. Mm -hmm. Some credit courses will be compulsory and some will be optional. Mm -hmm. So you have to select based on what you like and what uh, the industries focus on. Mm -hmm. So if you are from design department, they are mainly focused on finite element analysis, FEM mm -hmm. subject. Mm -hmm. So, and if you are from thermal, aerospace, mm -hmm. this kind of department, they normally focus on CFDs. Mm -hmm. CFD, numerical analysis, these type of subjects are very important mm -hmm. if you want means job opportunities okay. from campus. So most most of the students opt for these subjects only. Okay. They know the criteria. So mm -hmm. these are very important and you, you have to score good in these subjects this because it all cpa is important but uh these great great cards they also see in the uh, means, uh cv mm. so you have to be uh, like good in those subjects mm -hmm. and after that you have to select the projects mm -hmm. accordingly which Achha, like. Shuman, um, uh, many students say that it is very difficult to you know uh manage within iit the moment you get selected in iit so uske baad the master's course is very hectic and manage karna mushkil hota we may not be in position to complete it so what is your um, view on that actually i also faced many troubles in the first semester mm -hmm. first semester was online but like you have to sit like uh, 7 to 8 hours in front of the pc and listen to the lectures mm -hmm. and there will be no time to like study and then revise these concepts are gone mm -hmm. you cannot focus leave the focus of other things like cannot focus on other things but in focusing on one subject is also very tough mm -hmm. like it runs very fast the mm -hmm. courses mm -hmm. and there will be like so many tests like every week there is some test like class test then tutorial quizzes mm -hmm. they will throw quizzes like uh, every day like mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So it's very hectic. It's very hectic to cope hmm. up with. But like in actually semester. job ke liye, actually career ke liye, to I think you have to manage those things, right, Angshman? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Learning That's exposure kaisa hai wahan pe? I think Guwahati mein. बहुत बहुत अच्छा है. They give the ample opportunity to learn and resources. Mm-hmm. Whatever the, and the professors are very free, frank. Okay. Okay. They will tell you that if you have any doubt, you can mail them. You can ask, okay. like friendly ask in directly in the when they are teaching. You can mm-hmm. interrupt them and ask them. They will never feel bad. They will mm-hmm. be helpful to answer your queries. Okay, Angshman, I have also heard that after masters, uh, mm-hmm. there is a culture in IIT Guwahati among masters students to go for PhD abroad also. And yeah. many students go and IIT Guwahati has very good foreign collaborations also. So yes. please uh, throw some light on that if you are aware. Okay, so IIT Guwahati has collaboration with Japan and Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you want to do uh, phd is abroad uh, you can like crack gre and get recommendation from the professors okay. so i can give an example like in my lab uh, one uh, senior he opted for phd in colorado colorado university that is in usa mm-hmm. so he uh, published one research paper mm-hmm. and got the recommendation from my guide mm-hmm. and he easily got the admission to that university mm-hmm. so it's very easy mm-hmm. okay and angshman now coming to this uh, your interview <clears throat> can you tell us how was your interview in uh, mercedes benz how it all went which yeah, company like the... come for uh, this thermal and fluid domain which in which you are or kaun si companies normally aati core ke liye hmm. so like uh, most of the companies give preference to like design and thermal if you are in aerospace or manufacturing there also comes but most of the preference will be given to like thermal and uh, design hmm so uh, like the co- most core companies are like bajaj siemens mm. then ge then caterpillar mercedes mm. and like uh, baja uh, what uh, hevels is also there mm. and some other companies are also there okay but uh, the core which um, r and d companies which mainly uh, we know are like siemens mm. caterpillar mercedes mm. these three are mainly most core company including g these four companies are most uh, hectic for mechanical engineers like other companies don't ask so much into depth they only ask about b tech but these four companies mostly ask from m tech hmm. so that's the difference to hmm. so masters ke students ka in companies mein requirement hota hai ha hmm. aur wo kaun si skill what kind of skill do they expect from master students like uh, as i said about the subjects uh, if you are from design they prefer like fem mm-hmm. uh, projects uh, on fem mm-hmm. then numerical methods these mm-hmm. uh, subjects they prefer and uh, advanced som mm-hmm. if you are from design mm-hmm. and if you are from thermal aerospace they mm-hmm. prefer like cfd uh, numerical methods mm-hmm. and some computational solvers if you are solve these are not subjects but they also prefer like if you had done some extra courses mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay okay yeah. and anshuman uh, what was the written exam and what was the process recruitment process of uh, mercedes so first they uh, we have to apply for the companies which we want after that they will send a link and you have to give the written exam in a particular time slot and that written exam is mostly based on uh, btech uh, mechanical Mm. like if you are from any department is specialization your uh, your question paper will be same uh, it will be based on btech level one mark or two mark get questions mm-hmm. and uh, it will consist of aptitude and uh, core domain mm. so after you clear those uh, exams by rank wise they will give a short list for interviews mm. so uh, okay. that is the second round so in the technical Uh, they in the interview round it is divided into two parts one is technical one is hr or managerial you can say mm-hmm. so these two rounds will be there for interviews okay. there will be panel consisting of pan- different panels mm-hmm. for interview rounds mm-hmm. so what did they ask you can you reveal those kind of questions also anshman if possible yes yes. Mm-hmm. yes yes mm-hmm. so actually i am from thermal domain mm-hmm. so they asked me my project first they asked me my uh, t- told me to introduce myself Mm-hmm. where i uh, started with my btech project then came to my mtech project okay so uh, uh, they asked me about they they already had my cv so mm-hmm. they asked me about my mtech project to elaborate my mtech project 
mm-hmm. and my mtech project was based on cfd mm-hmm. some uh, more i viscoelastic flow in uh, converging diverging channel mm-hmm. so they asked me about that uh, project how uh, how are which software you are using mm-hmm. how you are implementing the cfd schemes mm-hmm. and what application will it be to their company mm-hmm. and like that they question, asked me the some questions about my mtp mm-hmm. and after that they went to uh, depth of cfd mm-hmm. they are uh, they already had some Uh, prepared questions of cfd they were asking and also asking me to relate to my uh, project mm-hmm. like this stability criteria will it be applicable to your project or not mm-hmm. and that went up to like 30 minutes mm-hmm. after that they uh, showed some heat transfer thermodynamics and fluid mechanics problem okay btech level okay uh, like not very easy but btech level uh, good questions mm-hmm. like uh, 1d heat conduction problem mm. then uh, a lumped heat capacitance problem okay then some questions were like uh, boundary layers thermal boundary layer uh, hydrodynamic boundary layer mm. they asked some questions from there mm. and some questions were from turbulent flows mm. so they, they are like prepared these slides are before coming to the interview part okay. so they were asking asking me like very basic questions from those Mm-hmm. and they help in the interview they help they try to help if you are stuck in the basics they help mm-hmm. like if you okay yeah to ye interview kaise different hota hai from other interviews i'm sure like you have appeared for mtech and other interviews also like public yeah. sector bhi hote hain to how it is different from those yeah actually in uh, other interviews like i said like other companies also bajaj and door mm-hmm. they uh, literally ask from btech level okay. like uh, what is uh, uh, heat transfer what is 1d conduction this type mm-hmm. of simple btech questions which are asked in any kind of person interviews okay but uh, they can also mix some uh, real life questions which are very easy uh, mm-hmm. with uh, in other interviews but mm-hmm. in he, uh, these companies core mechanical companies mm-hmm. they mainly ask from your mtech project okay. and how you are applying your the concepts uh, which you have learned in mtech in those uh, projects okay so they focus on this important part if you are good in this part you will be selected mm. they don't tell here like you know other subjects or not you mm. know you know therm strength of materials or not because mm. you are i am from thermal i may not know much depth about strength of material mm. but other companies don't care they will ask in general okay from mm. strength of material from any industrial engineer anshuman now tell me like uh, after getting specialized from institute like iit guwahati in thermal and all do you think it is advantageous and beneficial to enter into core companies like mercedes benz after you get specialized in these kind of courses yes yes it is very much like uh, it was my dream for me i don't know for others but like uh, the work culture is very good there as i heard from the seniors mm-hmm. and they, the pay scale is very good like mm-hmm. comparable to any psu Mm-hmm. so and they give you leaves and like best accommodation food etc mm-hmm. so we, mm-hmm. so get, you get ample opportunity to learn mm-hmm. and learning is like growing uh, uh, could you understand little bit from your seniors or during the pre placement talk from this company about the roles and responsibilities or maybe about the work profile what are they are going to offer you yeah yeah i yeah it's uh, before the interview i asked my senior about what roles they do and what roles as a engineer post graduate engineer you have to do and they told me like you have to do like uh, some simulation parts if i am from thermal so they will give some conditions and projects so you have to like simulate some parts of that project and idea mm. and then give the output to uh, the net, next team like mm-hmm. like that works happen mm. okay so that is actually the exactly once you join then only you will get to know <laughs> then only i will know like Achha, Anshuman, uh, now I, i'll ask a little different question here like uh, as paper people students prepare and they uh, write their gate exam they get score most of the students are crazy about public sectors no doubt they are very good jobs but uh, those of uh, those students who are interested in automobile and all for which we don't have public sector and otherwise mm-hmm. do you think that if you join these kind of companies you may not make career out of it no no obviously not you will get good career in these companies also Mm. like the most high paying jobs are like in public sector uh, private sector only mm. like in later stage when you 
want to earn more that can happen only in private sector in public sector you can't get higher than a particular limit mm -hmm. so you have to offer private if you get good opportunity in terms of money and fame okay and anshuman now uh, you know, this uh, about uh, other courses in iit guwahati like uh, mercedes benz when they came to uh, what are the other branches they have shortlisted for the jobs okay so they are shortlisted uh, some from uh, energy energy science okay ms in energy mm -hmm. and uh, uh, aerodynamics okay aerodynamics and propulsion then uh, that is an aerospace is, department ha huh? mm -hmm. uh, er machine design is already there and fluid and thermal okay. these and any other branch like electrical electronics and all these guys yeah they had yeah electro electronics and computer science also they, they had separate interviews and panels hmm. okay and anshuman now uh, you know uh, one very relevant question i am going to ask you is like many students when they prepare for placements then we know that <laughs> maximum placements are in non core right so and packages are also supposed to be good in that so many students are confused like whether core we should prepare non core we should prepare or what should we do so how do you answer to this question uh, actually it depends on their choice of I mean, like i also prepared for non core like i also studied some part of aiml mm -hmm. so that uh, because these are necessary for like every industry nowadays mm -hmm. so i also prepared it doesn't mean like you, you don't have to study but you de it depends on the opportunities which you when when you do mtech like you will know like which uh, domain i should go is it doesn't need to be prepared before mtech you can obviously choose after coming to the mtech and get uh, where your line is like asking the seniors and then choosing which lines like many of my friends are also studying for sd roles they are very good at those so it depends on your choice i won't say Mm. those are very high paying jobs but those require also like requirement is also very high mm. so you can obviously go. Mm. okay so anshuman now i think we have come to almost an end of this particular session so did they tell you something about the growth uh, trajectory for you in uh, mercedes benz only uh, no, start your career at one particular level and where you can reach no no they didn't told they didn't tell you that mm. no okay so any any message you want to give to all the students who are writing exam or who may be thinking of joining iit guwahati or maybe who are in indecisive mood whether they should join masters or not to join masters anything you have you want to tell them uh, like i will say like uh, many people think like uh, going to like uh, only see uh, rank 3 iit is up to rank 3 after that they don't want to go to select iit but i will say like uh, in much from mercedes uh, they selected six guys from iit guwahati but only three guys from iit delhi so okay. you can now know that See, iit guwahati iit guwahati already is in the league of uh, old iits now actually there's yeah. very reputed iits still many hmm. uh, many people obviously you you are right many people when we mentor them for post good guidance and counseling they say no sir bombay madras and all so guwahati yeah. is very very reputed institute and yeah. very good work uh, very good uh, you know uh, environment for uh, you know uh, studies and that ambience is there in the campus yes sir it is wonderful institute uh, anshuman so uh, let me again thank you anshuman for the time you yes, gave sir. and i wish you all the very best for your career ahead thank you yes sir thank you sir for inviting